are listening to an exclusive interview. K-S-O-T, the state of trance. Hey, what's up and welcome to the very first 10 questions of 2021 and in the studio this week, the one and only Dennis Shepard. How are you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Had a good celebration of Christmas and uh, New Year's. Yeah, I mean, just relaxed, you know, like, just, yeah. What else could you do? And just preparing year? for Find the Sunrise, of course. Exactly. All yeah. right. Uh, I have 10 questions for you. Uh, starting off, starting away with uh, a question from Snay Makija27. Mm-hmm. Which plugins or samples do you usually use while working on tracks? Um, plugins. That's very broad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, um, effect plugins would be uh, everything from FabFilter. I just love their stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, super clean, and you can basically it visualizes everything you're doing, which is very nice to me. Um, samples here and there, like. Um, Often the Dave Parkinson sample packs, um, but for the more housey and progressive stuff, um, various packs, like a, a lot of splice stuff as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And everything. from FabFilter, which is which is your favorite? Do you use the EQs a lot or the oh, limiters or, or I love everything? The, uh, the love, uh, I love the Pro Q3. It's amazing. It's amazing, yeah. yeah. Um, I love the Pro C2. I love the Pro L2. Um, yeah. Uh, the Pro MB. They, they're all very, very nice. And uh, if I need, you know, like... Um, if I need something super clean, I will use that. If I need or want something uh, more coloring, I would use something else, like mm-hmm. a Mag EQ or something from Plugin Alliance. But um, uh, this is just for clinical stuff, you know, which is, uh, it resonates a lot with me as a German. As a German, yeah, <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice, all right. Next question comes from Trans Encyclopedia. Uh, which style do you prefer to produce, progressive or more beat stuff? You're very broad producer. I am. Um, but I came from the progressive house, progressive trend side of things. So I would say I prefer that um, more the slower BPM. And especially right now, I'm feeling all the progressive stuff a lot, like Art Bad, Camo Fed are mm-hmm. like my heroes of last year. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, I just love what they're doing. So I'm, as you may have heard, I'm also going back a little bit deeper. So um, going back to the more progressive style sound. Um, and if you listen to um, my first releases, like 2007, 2008, they were also very progressive. Um, so yeah, going back to the roots, basically, um, really enjoying that sound right now. It's very innovative, you know? Um, they just use um, sounds that are a little bit uh, less common and uh, different structures, uh, all this kind of stuff. Because, you know, when you do stuff for a long time, of course it gets boring. Everyone needs to change up things. Of course, yeah, for me that's very exciting right now. But of course, uh, what, I will whatever I will always do whatever I love. So and what I'm uh, whatever I'm feeling in the moment. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Are you a hardware or software guy? Because I saw some <laughs> pictures on your Twitter. I'm like, wow. You know, these are usually rental studios. To be honest, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I'm fully software. Okay. Like I, I just f- uh, prefer the workflow. Um, because with all the hardware stuff while you're traveling how do you want to do that it's impossible so backpack <laughs> <laughs> yeah. take yeah. all the sins with you no, no. Yeah. Um, Invader 2020 Warframe wants to know what is your what was your best moment of 2020 it's a good question oh yeah it's a very good question um, probably sometime uh before Corona happened, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like maybe February or something. Um, really enjoyed. Um, so I was touring Asia in February before everything started here in Europe, mm-hmm. um, and uh, I was playing Unconscious Festival, which is a really nice festival in Phuket, yeah. um, Thailand. And yeah, I played the second slot, I think, and it was just, oh yeah, that's an amazing moment. So I played um, Ferry Corsten, wherever you are, with yeah. Alien, yeah. And uh, at that at that moment, they did like a fan picture thing, and um, it was just a goosebump moment. Like uh, they they just posed for the photo. The sun was going down, and um, when the photographer shot the photo, that moment the breakdown started, and it was just everything came moment. together. Yeah, that like, was amazing. Oh. Probably one of my favorite moments. Yeah, of twenty twenty. Well, at least you have the memories. That's good. Let's create some more this year or next year. Yeah. Next question: uh, Ignacio Spina wants to know what's your favorite track from the eighties. From the 80s. Mm. Ooh, I think it's. it's mm. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I used to be a big fan of Michael Jackson, but mm-hmm. I'm not sure which of his tracks are beginning of the 90s or end of the 80s. I would say most of them are in the 90s, but it, Michael Jackson, okay. Yeah. Which one? Uh, Thriller, maybe? Okay. Yeah. That's a good pick. 100%. <laughs> 
I think Ignacio should be happy with that one. <laughs> uh, Sayed Safan99 wants to know, what did you want to do as a job when you were a kid? To be honest, good I was... Question. Yeah, yeah. That, it's a good question. A firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, I, I was never 100% sure what I wanted to do because I, uh, I'm just interested in so many different things. Um, I used to love playing football and mm -hmm. I used to be pretty good as well, but then I, like my legs didn't really keep up with the training, so I get, got a lot of injuries, so I stopped doing that. Um, my father always wanted me to become a lawyer, but it okay. wasn't, uh, just wasn't for me. Um, although during my study, I studied uh, business, so during my studies I kind of um, got an interest for law, corporate law. Um, But yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just a free spirit, so I I want to do whatever I want to do in life. So I don't really have a master plan, and uh, I'm not sure if I will do music until the end of my life, or if I will become a restaurant owner or an author, or you know, so many options in life. I love that, man. That you just <laughs> do whatever you want to do. Yeah. So what is what is next on your agenda to do? Like, you, if you finish the album, so now you have a little bit more freedom, I guess, so you can jump into a new adventure again. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so definitely uh, releasing some more techno music as well again uh, mm -hmm. under Dr. Dirty. Um, I'm working on the remixes for some of the album tracks as well. And um, I'm also already working on new collaborations. So um, I was actually going to fly to Norway to work on a track with Oya Nielsen. But oh, okay. uh, due to Corona, I had to cancel the travel. But hopefully it will happen in the next few months. And um, yeah, that would be very exciting. And then... Um, I'm trying to get jazz on a track as well, uh, again. Um, I did a collaboration back uh, in 2017, I think, or mm -hmm. 16, um, called Runaway with her. But I want to do a new track with her because I'm just a huge fan of her voice. And um, yeah, lots of new ideas for this year. Yeah. But January flying to Orion is not a good idea. It must be really cold out there. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, hopefully sometime uh, March, April or something like <laughs> That's that. That's a better yeah. idea, I think. <laughs> yeah. Wreck-It Ralph 87 wants to know, what's your favorite trance classic? My favorite trance classic? I think... Oh, um... I would say probably Delirium Silence, just a remix. I love that one. Yeah. That has everything. Yeah. It's and uh, uh, the Thrill Seekers Synesthesia is one of the best trance melodies, in my opinion, that has been ever created. True. Yeah. That is very true. Charming Vanilla wants to know, what's your favorite travel destination? Yeah, that's an easy one for Phuket. me. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, yeah, it, might, it is Bali for me. I, yeah? I just, I'm so in love with that uh, island. It's, it's amazing. Like the people are so friendly. Um, the weather is amazing, although it can be sometimes a little bit humid. Um, you have the beach, you have the mountains, you have um, amazing cafes, amazing restaurants. Uh, an amazing party scene like there, there's every kind of so sound you can find there you can find underground techno clubs you can find you know progressive beach clubs you can find uh, trans clubs uh, everything so yeah and you did one of your sound cations as well there right yeah many actually many I think, okay uh, three okay there. yeah so that's that's one of the places you go to a lot then yeah and i could even imagine moving there yeah honest. yeah well yeah. there you go that's the next adventure <laughs> sorry Aryan. then it's not <laughs> yeah. coming so <laughs> Uh, Fad, uh, Fadis in silhouette, right? Wants to know: Are you a dog person or a cat person? Ah, that's a hard question. A very hard question. I, I love both uh, animals, to be honest. But uh, if I had to choose, I think I would choose dog. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. Okay. This okay, conversation one, is over. No. There's there's one major <laughs> argument. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a bad argument, but anyway, if you were to die in your flat and. Uh, you know, um, your animal, your pet would still be there. If it was a cat, it would start eating you. If it was a dog, he would die starving next to you. You know, that's the a major argument. <laughs> too on. much, too much information. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know about that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Elena69 Luca wants to know what's your dream collab and why. Mm. So in trance. I would say Ferry Corson mm -hmm. because for me it's just a hero and he's always um, progressing. He's never doing the same. Every few years he has like a new thing he's doing and um, I just think he's like super, super talented. And the few times I've met him, he was also like the most amazing human being you can imagine. Super down to earth and very friendly. Yeah. Well, so, he's here a lot, so 
Yeah. Don't be surprised if you bump into him a little bit. So we can ask. <laughs> we'll ask him. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, last question already, Mr. Tone Ross. Can we expect any more Doctor Dirty tracks anytime soon? Yes. I have three EPs ready. Um, three so EPs. Three EPs. All so right. A lot of stuff coming. Um, I just need to find the right uh, label to put them on, but mm -hmm. um, I want to do like the proper techno labels, you know. Uh, so yeah. yeah, as I'm new in that scene, you know, I still have to, you know, um, get to know people, get to know labels and stuff. What but, is your uh, dream label to release on? Oh, drum code, easily, yeah. easily. Yeah, I, I just love these guys. Um, my favorite is Enrico San Giuliano. He's mm -hmm. amazing, but also Adam Bayer and um, yeah, so many good guys on there. Yeah, you must be on the radar already because you are in techno bunker. The, the well, big Spotify playlist, I, I guess. That would be cool if I was. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, let's well, see. Well, if you're listening, people from Drum Code, <laughs> he's here, Dr. Dirty. <laughs> yeah. what's, the, what's the story behind that name, by the way? Oh, it's a, it's a long and funny story. Hey, it must be a good one. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. So, um, basically, there are two stories to that. Mm -hmm. So, Doctor is my nickname on the retreats because I'm... Uh, you're clinical. Yeah, very clinical with the EQs <laughs> and I hear the like, slightest resonance in the sounds and I'm just cutting these things out and stuff. So that was that's the one side of the story. The other side is um, I have a friend I'm collaborating a lot with. Um, the second track on the EP that I did on Statement uh, is with Mr. Clean. Yeah. And he really looks like Mr. Clean. Like when you when you see the press pictures. Yeah, of yeah. So I had to kind of fit that with the dirty. So clean and dirty. <laughs> so, and then, you know, we, we can also... You know, everyone has a clean and a dirty side, so we can sometimes <laughs> swap roles, you know? <laughs> I can't wait to hear more of Dr. Yeah. Dirty. So, but first, uh, Find the Sunrise, of course, it's, uh, yeah. it's going to be out 15th of January. Yep. Beautiful work. Congratulations so on the much. fantastic album. And thank you for answering these uh, 10 questions. Thank you. Thank you. Tune in next time for a new 10 questions. Bye-bye.